This is a 1954 Kaiser Manhattan four-door sedan. It is supercharged and raised the horsepower from 118, which was a little bit leisurely, to 140. So that was fairly respectable, but the Kaiser was a pretty heavy car. And the uh, supercharger is uh, there at the top of the screen. Uh, by the name of McCullough. Actually, McCullough and Paxton, uh, they're all part of the, the founder's name. Robert Paxton McCullough. Kaiser adopted the uh, supercharger because it was clear that the future was going to be in V8 engines and it didn't really have one that was developed so uh, they relied on the supercharger the car itself is uh, very modern looking it's a large glass area probably larger than any other sedan of 1954 there's a very large back window and the so-called safety taillights which uh, were seen from the side too besides the uh, back. The upholstery on these is very long wearing. It's a kind of a nubby texture and uh, did a great job. This looks original. And uh, the dash is padded and has those uh, slide uh, controls which are reminiscent of aircraft controls and certainly are similar to the 54 Mercury. car has Hydromatic, which they bought from General Motors, and they tried to be competitive. Uh, they didn't have their own transmission, and uh, <clears throat> the engine was not up to competition levels at the time, so they did what they had to to stay in business. They sold uh, a few the next year, 55s, but they were really rebadged 54s. And then the company went to Argentina and was known as the Kaiser Carabello down there. And of course, with it went the Willys uh, franchise too. And of course, Kaiser continued to make Willys uh, here in the United States. Very modern looking. That emergency brake there would have been uh, a knee buster, I'm afraid, in an accident, but otherwise, the dash looks pretty safe. Very well restored. And you don't see too many of them. My favorite is the Kaiser Dragon, which is really cool.